Hey, hey, everybody. Mountain Dew Media here. Welcome back to episode 9. Already, can you believe it? Of Hillbilly Island. And I'm doing great. It is 2.34 a.m. in the universe I live in. And uh, so, couldn't sleep and thought I would uh, do a little Minecraft here for you. How about that? So, here we are. Billy Island, if you're just joining in, this is my little piece of the universe. Got quite a bit to show you today. I have been a busy little beaver. Yes, I have. Check it out. Oh, yeah, I've been playing with mods again. I think everybody recognizes um, too many items. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, huh? Don't know if I'm going to really use it for anything, but I really trying to practice with all the mods. I'm, I'm not the best yet still at, you know, getting them and doing them and figuring them out. So, <gasps> look what I found. Look what I found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And the only reason I did, I know I told you I wouldn't do anything off camera, but I was putting down these stairs. Did not want y'all to sit through all that boredom. So, I was doing that and I ran out of cobblestone. So... I went down here to the very bottom. Remember, that's where we found the spawner in there. Went down here to the very bottom, was digging, was digging, digging this out a little bit, getting me some cobblestone, ran into lava, as usual, and I found diamonds. <gasps> it was a six string. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, first things first, let's eat us some bread up in here. No, no, no. Okay, but that's the reason I have the six diamonds. Um, yeah, been um, been digging and playing and digging and playing and just getting cobblestone really to make these stairs. Didn't want to bore y'all senseless with that crap. So yeah. Uh, but and I got like six silver, so that's really the the big change. But yeah, I've been trying to practice with the with the mods. Like I said, I probably won't um, won't use uh, too many items for anything on here um does come in on my my world my my single player world um and i've had uh, already three or four requests if somebody um they everybody wants to see it oh you know i have a timber mod you remember that so ooh, super tree super tree i love super trees give it yeah um had a lot of requests for um to see my home world and uh, I'll not do that for you. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, but yeah. Oh, now I've got a um, another mod I want to tell you about. And uh, actually, I've got a couple more mods. But one of them is going to be a secret. It is going to be a secret until maybe... I don't know. I might let y'all see one. See the next one. Maybe about the... When we hit an anniversary or something. I don't know. Tenth or something anniversary. But, yep. Yeah, so, that's about the only thing I've done. So, I'm not really going to do anything with those yet. I don't... You know, if I do anything... Hmm. You know what I'd really like to have? I would really... I really want a pickaxe. And I really want an enchanting... I want an enchantment table because I'm hoping to get a bunch of it. Problem is, I don't have a reed. I don't have any sugar cane. So, that's something I'll have to put up to a vote. Can I spawn in one, or do I have to go swim off and find one somewhere? So, uh, that'll be up for discussion. But yeah, I really would like to have um, an enchantment table. So, and of course, to have that, you gotta have paper books and cows, and I don't know. So, we're gonna have to think about that. I really don't want to, uh, you know, spawn anything in. I would rather just make do with what I got. So, but one thing I know I'm going to make, I always make first time I get diamonds, never fails. I will get me. Come on, put what the hell? Yeah. Oh, please, come on. Boom. Boom, boom. Always make me a pickaxe first. That is my standby, my go-to. Never fails. Always do it. 
So we're going to tuck you away right there safely till we figure out what, what is wrong with my... I better keep the sticks with me just in case. Okay, yeah, my big one arrow I can kill somebody with. Hmm. Apples. Yeah, I better keep apples with me. I don't think I'll need wood right now. I want to... Let me get... Um, I might have to make me another furnace, though. To be honest with you, because I really... What? Oh, come on. Man, it's going to be one of them days. But, um, yeah, is that charcoal? Derp. God, I'm such an idiot. Okay. Don't want to make another furnace. Nah, couldn't hurt. What's it going to hurt? Yeah. Come on. Down. God. All right. We'll plop that bad boy right there and put us in some coal and I know it's a waste in it but I love building in stone okay but I think we are gonna have to get um some reeds and I would man look at the saplings wow um, because for one of my uh, other mods I got, I will have to have at least a book. So today, I want to go ahead and get more cobblestone. And you know what? I think I'm going to save. Might keep that diamond pickaxe, but I want to make me another iron one too. Just, you know, I'm going to save it as long as I can. So, boom, boom, boom. Boom, come on, get up there. And one, eight. And I always take, come on, what is with the mouse today? What the hell? It's a pain in my ass. Okay, so how you guys been doing? I have been doing great. I have got to tell y'all the weirdest thing I think has ever happened to me at work. You know, I stock overnights at Walmart, and it's a pretty physical job. Um, so, and I was in the military, I know you guys, I don't know if you guys knew that, I was a um, combat medic, and I was also a medical file clerk, I was also an MP, um, <laughs> way back in the day, so, did I make, ah. Uh, Fuck misery in a handbasket. Anyway, um, so I have been through a lot of, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, or I don't know why you would have, but I have been through a lot of body language classes, okay? So, in a body language class, it, it is what it sounds like, you learn how to read uh, a person's body language. You learn... Uh, what different postures mean, um, facial expressions, things like that. And it, it, I mean, it can come in important, you know. Come on, get down there. Damn, what the hell? Um, it can literally save your life. <laughs> um, come on, my house is going to act stupid today. All right, we don't need the stair. We'll leave that there. And we'll take the dirt with us. Come on, let go. Pain in the ass. I got a piece of charcoal and get rid of that. Yeah, um, so, uh, that being said, I have always, um, learned to be aware of my surroundings. And that's really big in working late nights at Walmart because, you know the saying, the freaks come out at night? They, whoever came up with that, probably worked at Walmart third shift stocking. Because I want to tell you, we get some freaky weirdness going on. All right, let's finish, go down this way a little bit. Um, we got, oh man, there was some dude, he come in and he asked, I work um, in apparel. Now that means clothing, I, I stock the clothing at night. And you know how big an area that is. If you've ever shopped at Walmart, you should. So, 
um, this dude comes in and he tells me he's shopping uh, for his uh, girlfriend's birthday. And I'm thinking, okay, well, that's cool. So, all right, I'm dealing with that. Uh, how can I help you, sir? Yes, can you believe it? I'm actually nice. Well, I am at work, so. <laughs> but, um, yep, he, um, I said, okay. He goes, I said, well, what's her body type? I mean, you, you know, she tall, short, uh, thin, fat, I, you know. Um, stocky, what, what are you, what are you looking for here? He goes, well, he goes, actually, she kind of has my body type. I mean, she's just kind of stocky like I am. And I'm thinking, okay, that's weird, but all right. So he goes, if I held this up, do you think you could tell me what you think? Now, I've, you know, as part of our job is to assist people with their shopping. I mean, that's what we do. We want to make sure that you have a good time shopping and you're happy with your purchases and etc and other bullshit so I don't know where this dude came from but he was like well maybe can I go in the fitting room and try it on now you need to understand what he had in his hand when he said this he was holding a little stretchy spandex kind of deal, lacy looking. Let's go down to mini skirt, bright pink mini skirt. Kid you not, he wanted to try it on along with a little lacy little tank top kind of deal. People, I am telling you, I almost fell over, okay. It was freaky. Don't know the dude's name. Never seen him before. Um, if you, dude, if you ever watch this video and you're pissed off, I'm sorry. Because that was just, oh, check it out. Yeah, yeah. One. Come on, baby. I know. I, oh, yeah. Do it to me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. People, that's better than sex. I don't care how many diamonds you find playing Minecraft. Every time you find them, it's just like, oh, my God. <coughs> oh, okay. Six more. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Doo -doo. I'm happy, happy, happy. That's my favorite guy in the world says so anyway I am he just went on and on and on he tried on I'm not kidding you he tried on bras he tried on other skirts and was okay then okay it is against I don't know how it is wherever you are but it's against federal health laws to try on panties every woman in the world can tell you that you just don't it's dusty he tried on he slipped it in I don't know how I didn't catch it he slipped in a thong uh, not a guy's thong a girl's thong okay and I he of course there's not many you know people roaming around three o'clock in the morning at Walmart so he was like oh can I uh, funny thing um, yeah, can I, uh, yeah, um, did you tell me how this looks? And I'm thinking to myself, dude, if you don't get the hell up out of my face, <laughs> it's like, okay, I'd already called my manager over. She's standing there kind of piddling around with one of my boxes, you know, just like acting like she's doing something, you know, so she can watch this guy, you know, because we're both, I'm, I mean, now, I don't get scared unless it's lava. Um, I don't rattle too easily. There's, um, that's not bragging. That's just, I'm well aware of what I can do and what I can't. Not many, not too many people intimidate me. Um, I'm, you know, got a, a good martial arts background, so I'm not saying I'm the best in the world. There's always somebody that can whoop your ass. Don't think there's not. So, but, you know, 
if you're confident about what you can do, you know whose ass you can whoop and you can't. Um, I could have took the guy, so that wasn't the problem. The problem was I was so freaked out <laughs> by him trying on bras. I mean, he was trying on bras, and when he got to the thongs, I thought I was going to hit the floor. So, you know, I mean, what, honest to God, I mean, what do you tell somebody like that? If you hear a cat, it's my daughter's kitty out on the heat. She's crying, oh God. Um, so anyway, when he got to the panties, you know, I was like, um, he brought them out, and he goes, oh, these didn't fit. He goes, I just can't find anything. Maybe I'll come back another day with her. Lays them on my counter and walks out. I thought I was going to throw up. So I, this is no lie, my manager was standing there. She looked at me like, did that just happen? And I'm like, uh, uh. honey, I put on some latex gloves and picked them up and bagged them up. And I mean, because it was just, you know, the man could have been a saint for all I know. I don't know. But that was some of the freakiest. It was just freaky. And I have seen some weird people show up at Walmart at three in the morning. You know, it's just weird okay we're getting a little bit it was weird it was weird it was so weird do 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 okay I don't want to dig around in lava that's not my favorite thing to do got that I need to fill some of this in this is where when I remember I lost all my saves and everything and I was trying to dig in and find um, my spawner again. Which it still did I Yep, I left it there. <laughs> I'd still want to make some kind of trap. I don't really know how to make one. Um, so I'm not really I'm not really sure. to learn I'm gonna have to learn how to do that so okay at least we'll patch this up Let's make it pretty so if you guys know of um, any that I could watch a video or anything like that just a simple one it doesn't have to be a you know it doesn't have to be some kind of master work or anything um, God knows I'm <laughs> I'm not the most brilliant person at doing this, but but anyway, I thought I would share that story with you. It was just totally weird, and um, yeah, it, <laughs> it was kind of weird. I have to admit, that was very weird. Let's go right over here, and as usual, even though I got all those buckets, I still don't never bring one with me. Always forget. There we go. Hmm, this might be something over here. Kind of inch over and be careful. And eventually, if I decide to spawn in one reed, I'm going to need uh, some. I might take a bucket of lava. Uh, ooh, Lord, it's dark. Uh, that's a little better. I'm going to light this place up a little bit. Oh, yes. There he is. Come on. You see me? You see me now? There you are. Boo. Told you. Coward. I'm a coward. Is it dead end? Oh, it's dead end. Okay. Light up a little bit though. Did I not? Yeah, yeah, I thought I saw some up here. So, anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Just, um, you know, a day in the life. This is so stupid. You never dig up. You never dig up. Susie, you know, you never dig up. <laughs> uh, what I want that iron. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what level I is on. I'm on 11. 
chances are maybe good for some diamonds. We'll see. I really prefer, you know, I don't know if this is true, um, but do you think that if you're in different biomes, you, uh, diamonds and ores are on different levels? I am really beginning to wonder about that because when I'm in an ocean biome, which obviously I am now, I tend to find diamonds lower than 10. I'm talking like 7, 8, 9, somewhere in there. I want to know if any of y'all have ever experienced that. Do you think ores, that's our question for the day, do you think ores are on different levels in different biomes? Well, that's going to be our that's going to be our discussion. So, well, um, I'm going to have to get me a bucket of water. I'd like to go off that way. See what is over there. Let's see if I can get this gravel. There we go. Would like to go over there and see if anything is lurking about. Actually, I don't want to go over there, but you didn't... You're not going to want... Oh, yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him. You know what? Let's leave him for... Let's leave him for another time. Because uh, I have a feeling I'm going to have to go beat some cats. I don't know what the hell's going on out there, but... Um, so, let's wrap this up. And... Um, my main objective right now... Like I said, I wouldn't have bored y'all with this. This is horrible. <laughs> Uh, to have to sit through steps, but um, yeah, I would. Um, and you got a comment you want to make about the uh, the question? Um, uh, just leave it in the comments. Email me. Catch me on TMM. Um, I'd be interested to know what you think. Let's. Um, yeah, give me that XP. And I'm gonna have to, this cat's gonna drive me insane. So. Um. I want to start making some stone. We got to get us a good, decent house going. I think that's yeah, that's our next big, that's our next big step. So we will leave it there for right now. And this is Mountain Dew Mania. Hey, and I guess I will let you guys go. And y'all have a wonderful day. Or not? Choice is yours. And this is Mountain Dew Media one more time for Hillbilly Island. I am so out of here. Later. I'm coming, kitty.